When we look at these two questions, we see a very big problem. The X is on the bottom. And in the last lesson, we looked at when the X is on the top and you had something, let's say I flip these around, equals negative 8. All we had to do was one step. We just eliminated the 2 with a 2 on the top and a 2 on the numerator here. And then they cancel and you get X equals negative 16. But here, we have a very big problem. Because the X is on the bottom and it ruins things. It's it's almost depressing. It's we need to we need to fix this up. How do we do that? Don't sweat it. It's a very simple step. If you don't like X on the bottom, we're gonna break one of the rules. The rule that we've looked at in every other lesson is eliminate eliminate everything. except for X, except X. We eliminated everything that was sitting beside X. That's because X was in a very nice spot. We liked X where he was. Here, X is in a very ugly spot. We don't like X to be there. So you know what we're going to do is we are going to eliminate X. We are going to destroy X because he is in a very unhappy position. You do this anytime X is on the bottom. It goes without saying. You have to destroy the X by, guess what? Putting an X somewhere else. Where are you going to put that X? On the top. You know why? Because X divided by X makes 1. They cancel out. And because I have an X on the numerator here, I've got to put in and this is being multiplied, let's put them in brackets, I have to put an X on the numerator there. Remember, every number has a numerator because that's the denominator. I don't have to show it though. You just need to know that it's there. So I'm going to times this side by X as well. Look what happens. X's cancel out and I get 2 equals negative 8 times X. X is in a lovely position now. He is on the top. He's in a numerator. And now this looks like the lesson we did on the multiplication. When we have integers or algebra, algebraic equations with multiplication on the variable side. And how do we eliminate? Now we can eliminate everything except X. We can leave X there. We like him. Leave him there. We want to destroy the negative 8. Do the opposite. If you're writing notes, which you should be, write down opposite. Opposite what? Opposite operation. These two are being multiplied, so do the opposite and divide. Make your division line monkey see, monkey do. That monkey does it right away. So you divide here, you got to divide there. You got to now divide by this number because we need to eliminate him. So we'll put an 8, right? No, not quite. Because if you put an 8, the 8s will cancel, but the negative will still be there. So we'll put a negative 8, and then we'll do it again on the other side. This is like building something. You are building some art. And you are being very technical in the way you do this. I would like you to do it exactly the way I'm showing you right now. Divide here, divide there. Negative 8, negative 8. Then cancel the 8s and cancel the negatives. They are both gone, leaving nothing but an X behind and an equal sign and 2 divided by negative 8 is going to be a decimal. We can write it as a fraction. We can write 1 over 4. That's what it reduces down to. Negative 1 over 4. That negative doesn't matter. We can put it on the numerator. We can put it on the denominator. We can put it right in the middle. It doesn't matter. It is a negative quarter. If you would prefer to write it as a decimal, you would write negative 0 0.25 equals X. Again, substitute it back in here. Use your calculator for this. This might be a little bit more complicated. So go in your calculator and type 2 divided by negative 1 fourth and you will see you get negative 8. Let's try this example here. 5 equals negative 4 over X. Which side do we begin on? The variable side. And look at that X. He's in a very unhappy spot. We will destroy him. We will get rid of them. We'll put an X here, cancel out.
put an X on the numerator here. You got 5X, baby. You got that equals negative 4. If I went a little bit fast, rewind the tape, the video. You got 5X equals negative 4. Now what do we do? We do the opposite operation. And we are going to eliminate everything except for X. Leave X here. He's in a happy spot. He's on the numerator. We will divide by 5. So do it again on the other side. Divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. They cancel. We got 1X. We don't have to write the 1, do we? Just write X. Is negative 4 over 5. And we can leave it like that because you cannot reduce negative 4 over 5. If you prefer decimals, you can write X equals negative 0 0.8. Because 4 over 5 is 8 out of 10, and 8 out of 10 is decimal 8 with a negative. With That's what that makes. And then you can substitute that value back in here. In your calculator, type negative 4 divided by this number, negative 0 0.8, and you will get 5. So the lesson that we've learned here is that if the X is on the bottom, get rid of it. Before you do anything, get rid of that X. Wipe them out and put them in a happier spot. Ah!